Alberto Alessi's family home lies surrounded by vineyards in northern Italy's Piedmont region. 17 years ago, Alessi bought and completely refurbished the property. It offers beautiful views of Lake Orta. I fulfilled a lifetime dream here by becoming a gardener and getting involved with nature and farming. I do create something in my profession, but those are other things, designer products. Here I enjoy sitting down, looking at my estate and my vines. The 150-year-old farmhouse is surrounded by some 30,000 square meters of vineyards. The facade couldn't be changed, but inside, Alessi gave the building a total makeover, converting many small rooms into one open space. Alessi lives here with his wife, Laura, and daughter, Emma. On most days, he comes home for lunch from the nearby factory. During the grape harvest, the family eats together with the workers. The Alessi family home was designed by architect Alessandro Mendini. He and Alessi have been friends for many years. I feel more at home here than I have anywhere else before. Here I have everything that's important to me. I'm always on the go, and I never get bored. Each chair around the large table comes from a different designer, but Alessi is still looking for the perfect form of seating. I find the Superleggera by Gio Ponti very comfortable, but it isn't perfect either. Many Alessi products are in everyday use in the kitchen here. Alberto Alessi, grandson of founder Giovanni, has been head of the company since 1970. The espresso makers by Richard Sapper and Michele Di Lucchi are favorite utensils. So is the Juicy Salif Lemon Squeezer. Designed by Philip Stark, it remains an international bestseller to this day. As you can see, it doesn't really work that well. But for some strange reason, people like it. Nevertheless, it remains the most controversial lemon squeezer of the 20th century. Alessi refers to his design workshop as a dream factory. Here, objects come to life that surprise and are never mainstream. Like this music box and nutcracker from the Circus Collection by Dutch designer Marcel Vanders. Alberto Alessi can look over his extensive vineyards from the house's own tower. He's been growing organic wine for over 10 years now. It's one of his great passions. The last Petit Monsang grapes are harvested in early November for the late vintage wines. A red wine from Pinot Noir grapes and a white one from Chardonnay are maturing in the wine cellar. The first vintages can be bought online for between 160 and 220 euros. The Leo wine bottle is the only item Alberto Alessi personally designed, based on a drawing by Leonardo da Vinci. I've discovered that there is little difference between producing high-quality wines, as I hope I do, and making high-quality design objects. You need lots of passion to achieve both. For wine, you have to follow nature's rhythm, and for design, you have to rely on human creativity which is also natural. Alberto Alessi never tires of admiring his vineyard and view of the lake. But he couldn't imagine handing over the company reins to someone else and being nothing but a wine grower. He loves what he does too much for that.